Hello all, uh, welcome back again. Today we're gonna be covering uh, creating your first front-end application and deploying it to GitHub uh, utilizing Git Pages. If you want to learn more about Git Pages, uh, visit pages.github.com. Um, so to get started, uh, go to github.com. Uh, if you haven't already created an account, go ahead and create one. I have another tutorial up on my channel where I go through uh, GitHub and creating their account and also learning the basic Git commands that you will need to utilize uh, from your local machine. Um, so once you've created that account, come here and create new. Now as of today, it's uh, February 2021 so I don't know if the page has changed by the time you're viewing this tutorial but if it has uh, try and find where you can create a new repository we'll go ahead and create new and then we're gonna name our repository uh, what our account name is so in my instance it's code rush hyphen IO so I'll go ahead and type code rush hyphen IO and as you'll see, Git will tell you you found a secret. So this is like a special type of repository that Git recognizes. And uh, this allows Git to expose uh, whatever code you put out there. So I'll go ahead and type code rush hyphen IO. And then I'll need to add github.io. And then from there, make sure it's public. And then we'll go ahead and create that repository. Okay, once that repository is created, you have these commands that you can run. Uh, and again, I cover all these different commands uh, in my GitHub tutorial. Uh, so if you haven't had a chance to check that out, uh, make sure you do. And then I'll open up VS Code. Again, I also have another tutorial on VS Code. If you want to know more about VS Code and installing it on your machine, uh, go check that out. Uh, but if you already have, uh, you should be fine. So I've created this folder in my dev directory. So I have C, uh, in my C drive I have dev code rush and then in there I have code rush hyphen IO which represents the repository that I'm gonna be pushing up right now. Uh, it's just an empty folder right now. So on VS Code you can open up that folder. I'll open it up C, uh, in the C drive dev code rush code rush hyphen IO and then I'll select the folder. And then from there, I need to create the index.html page. Um, so I'll go ahead and index.html. Now, HTML is the code that's used to render out websites. Pretty much all websites are built from HTML. Uh, now, they also utilize CSS and JavaScript, but HTML is the core. For example, if I was to I'll open up another tab and I'll go to google.com. Uh, you should be able to inspect your website and view uh, the HTML that's used to build that website. So I can do, this is on Windows, I can do Control U, and this is all that code. Uh, this is mostly JavaScript, but then there's HTML tags uh, here. Uh, you should also be able to right click, inspect. Now what this does, it's gonna show you the HTML uh, file that's rendering this page uh, and you can alter it and play around with it and as you see it, uh, you, ha you have that doc type uh, and then you have HTML and then you have your head body uh, all the way down to the closing of the tags now as we progress I'll be covering more about HTML but for now just to show you how to create your first you know web application uh, your first front-end application uh, just follow along so create that index.html file and then from there I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna add the doc type it should be able VS code should be rendering this stuff out for you uh, HTML I add the HTML tag it's automatically closing it for me and then from there I'll add the head and in between the head that's where we put the title uh, and here I'll say, I'll just call it Code Rush. Now, th what the title is, uh, if I go back to the browser, google.com, they have the, if you look at the top of the tabs, there's this word over here uh, th that says just Google. So that's, that's coming from the title tag. So the title tag is what generates that. So once I push this out and I publish it, you'll be able to see Code Rush up there. Uh, and I'll just add Code Title. That way you get you, you get to see it. Uh, and then from there, I'll create the body. 
and I'll just leave it empty. Um, actually, let me I'll create H1. That's a header tag. Um, again, I'll cover more about HTML down the line, but for now, this is just basic, just to show you how to create your first, you know, web application, front end application, and deploying it to Git pages. Uh, so I'll say, uh, "Hello world," and that should be that. So now we need to push this code up. Uh, to GitHub to our repository. Now we need to run this command. I'm not gonna go to. Uh, I'm not gonna go in depth about this command. Uh, you can check out that tutorial that covers them. Um, so if we go back here, uh, so I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Typically, I've used the Commander to run my commands, but I also want to get you guys to know uh, more about like what you can do with VS Code. So VS Code provides you with terminal, so you can do terminal, new terminal and it'll open up this here at the bottom now from there I should be able to run my git command so I can see ls to clear since I'm on Windows uh, if you're on Mac you should be able to just do clear and then from there I run my git init it initializes the repository and then from there I need to add my file now I'm not adding a readme so I'll just do git add you can do git add dot that will add all the files and then from after that I need to commit my file so I'll do git commit add HTML file now remember your commit always sh should always be descriptive of the change that you're making and then from there after that you can go back to uh, that page on github and copy this command this tells your local git uh, which repository to point to um, so from there we'll run that and then next we can run this command this is to push our code up to uh, the repository actually just run git push and that should spit out this command which you can also run uh, so git push set upstream origin master so now that what that's saying is hey git locally I need you to push this to the master branch uh, on the remote and we added that we linked the remote here so once that's done uh, you can come back and refresh your repository and now I should see my index.html page here so the next thing we want to do is we want to view this page that we just deployed to Git pages. Now remember, this repository has a special name uh, that's recognized by GitHub and is exposed to the world. So from there, let's go to codrush-io.github.io. And from there, we have Hello World. And you can see the title is up here, Code Rush title. Uh, now, the thing is, we can now make changes to our file. So let's remove that title. And those changes will take effect. And then let's do paragraph tag. Let's see. Welcome to Code Rush community. Uh, so from there, remember I can run git status and it'll show me that the index file changed. And then I can do git add. I can do index.html. So git add index.html. Is that's just a different way of adding, and it allows me to add a single file uh, instead of git dot, which adds all the files that you have in that directory. And then after that, I can just do uh, git commit. Let's not forget that. And then remember your commit message should be descriptive of the change you're making. So I'll say um, updating page message. And then git push. Now if we go back to the repository, we see that the changes have been pushed up. Um, now let's see. 
So there goes the changes. And now if we refresh this page, uh, sometimes it takes a little while for uh, Git pages to update. Okay, uh, you can also visit uh, slash index.html, go to the specific file, and uh, you, as we see, it's updated. Um, again, welcome to Code Rush. If this is your first time, uh, make sure you go check out all the other videos that I have. Um, I will also be going more in depth uh, regarding HTML, all the different tags that you can utilize, and also CSS. So keep stay tuned as I have a lot more to come. Thank you, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't.